what, why do you think you have studied the martial arts karate for so many years? Why, why have you studied? Uh, not so special reasons, because uh, my family is most, uh, you know, all the type, you know, like uh, samurai families, uh, martial arts is not fighting education. This is general education. The reason is, uh, long time ago, and Japan have about uh, uh, 700 years, Japan is past history, it's uh, like military control, samurai level control, politically. Then half part is civil war, all small, you know, samurai group fighting each other. That time, very important uh, you know, soldier's skill, uh, especially uh, since rifles come to Japan, uh, fighting style is completely changing because it used to be like big, you know, helmet and so on, protections. Uh, it's very important to uh, fighting. But uh, after, uh, since rifles come to Japan, this nothing help. This technically, how happens next time, more technically, like skill is very important for soldiers' technique. Anyway, ha, about uh, 300 years over, small kind of civil war, then stop civil wars, about 300 years, complete peace. Uh, no war. This is a very special, uh, unusual history in Japan, uh, you know, country. But anyway, this time, still samurai means military level control to Japan. However, they are pick up to education, very important education, the martial art. Beginning is, of course, necessary for combat technique. Second stage, not to worry anything war. That's why Starting martial art is more important like general education for, you know, uh, top peoples. Then starting to be becoming maybe general education stuff for all uh, people of Japan. That's why martial art time, I think uh, we are know, uh, not directly combat, more important have humans, you know, general education, the basic uh, culture's education. Mm -hmm. So it, it was a, a way of the, discipline? Yeah, like yes. It? Because, in uh, other words, this kind of military government using martial art for uh, basic education for samurai, you know, children, peoples. That's why all the uh, traditional samurai house uh, families, not only combat reasons, just education for children, you know, basic education. This is the idea. Not for typical, like kendo, judo, karate, but give some uh, martial art education. This some looks like just a custom. Even he have a, this son uh, have a ability or not. Just, you know, like custom-wise must be coaching. Also, school, uh, especially uh, used to be all Jap uh, Japan have English system like called middle school. Now about a junior high school level, uh, must study martial art, judo, ala kendo. And, and that's true today. No, uh, after second world war stop, but uh, you know, uh, before the wars and doing war time, it's like a uh, must study either the student choice. This is. Purpose is not combat, not fighting, just a continue from a traditional custom. Martial art is general human education, basic education for you know, people. This is the idea. How, how did the Japan Karate Association mm -hmm. develop out of Shotokan? Yes, uh, that means out of Shotokan, we uh, used a very small group, you know, even the uh, Master Funakoshi student, mainly, mainly college people, because uh, very small people training Shotokan dojo. Uh, therefore, after Second World War, all 
college peoples, you know, graduate peoples, key peoples get together, formed Japan Karate Association. Because the reason is, uh, Master Funakoshi told all of his philosophy is karate have no style. Uh, outside peoples called Shotokan, because uh, outside have many style. Because from Okinawa to mainland Japan, you know, every instructor call on style. But the Master Funakoshi is nothing say any style. From their people, very inconvenient because we are uh, something style. But you have a hot style. I don't have a style. Then uh, Master Funakoshi formed a uh, Shotokan, coming like house, such as like Judo have a Kodokan, kind of coming the house. Then Shoto means Master Funakoshi uh, pen name. He's uh, like writing, you know, uh, literature and so on, and the poem. Then he using Shoto Funakoshi, means Shoto is his pen name. Then using Shoto name, giving to his dojo name, called Shoto, not the style name. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, outside people called Shoto, Master Funakoshi is very unhappy. He don't like so much. Then uh, that's why uh, we hope that all Master Funakoshi students get together. You know, we are ugly, no call any style name, just giving name Japan Karate Association. Then later, uh, some you know people left from uh, JK Japan Karate Association. Then hold the own Shotokan group. You know so. Not like uh, JK is separate. Original after second was home and all Master Funakoshi group, home of the Japan Kata Association. Later, some reason someone divided making their own group and other people leave, you know, kind. But the reason is why not called the Shotokan because Master Funakoshi is the philosophy of philosophy is karate is no style. Karate is only karate do, that's all. Mm -hmm. how, how did Master? What was Master Nakayama's relationship to Funakoshi? Yes, uh, he's the same at the college time, he studied as uh, Master Funakoshi. Then after his graduate college, then going to China, then uh, finish the uh, war, he back to Japan. Then he's uh, one of the main people's formation, Japan Kata Session time. Was Master Nakayama a contemporary of yours, or was he a, a senior? Yes, uh, my senior. Uh, during that time, I don't, we don't know each other because uh, I was college time, he's already in China. Then after I myself and graduate college, then Master uh, Nakayama back to Japan. Then uh, working together as formation, Japan Karate Association, then continue working. He's my, she's, I think, uh, 15 years ahead of me. 15 years? Yes. Hmm. When did you receive your title of master? No, master is the nothing received title. We don't have a title. Yes. So when did you become a Goda? Uh, I forgot a uh, long time ago. Maybe 1958, something. During that time in Japan, you must have met some extraordinary people some very unusual, very special people. Mm -hmm. What people in the martial arts had a, a major impact on you? Or what? who do you remember that? Yes, I remember that many, many people because uh, since uh, starting uh, Kendo training in my martial arts history, I met a very great master of Kendo. Uh, this time not so much I get the strong image because I was so young. But still, have, you know, now understand, I received you know, many, many, you know, uh, ideas of philosophy's influence to me. Could, could you talk about a specific individual that was special to you? Yes, uh, such as Kendo time, uh, one of, uh, you know, very top instructors, name is uh, Master Mochida. He's a very famous Kendo master in Japan. And... Uh, all the ideas, martial art feeling, 
I got uh, very strong, you know, inf- uh, n- uh, not only the influence that I received and good education from him. Also, uh, of course, Karate Master Hanakoshi directly, and uh, his son, uh, Yoshitaka Hanakoshi. Also, I meet uh, other martials such as Master uh, Ueshiba, Morihei Ueshiba. Uh, beating several times his dojos, Aikido dojos. I get uh, many, you know, uh, ideas or uh, influence of my martial art philosophy. So you got a lot of the feeling for the martial arts from Master Mushida, the Kendo master. Yabotida, yes. And then you, you, you Yushiba, Yes, uh, Mr. Ueshiba is not to study. I just, uh, you know, visiting and uh, meet him and ask him many questions and uh, he gives us many, many, you know, ideas of martial art. Uh, 